Ferrari is one of the oldest yet one of the highest selling models for Maruti in the Indian car market. However, it sells in a segment that is witnessing high competition from other manufacturers. There have been new launches and of course price cuts. And hence, to keep the Vagana sales high, Maruti recently rolled out a new version called the Stingray. And the Stingray looks completely different as compared to the Vagana both on the inside and the outside and is geared towards enthusiasts and of course the younger buyers. Changes on the outside are a lot. For example, the new Stingray comes with gunmetal grey coloured alloy wheels for the top end version. Of course, it also gets projector headlamps, a stylish front grille, sporty side skirts and the B pillars are blackened out. All these go a long way in making the bolder Stingray stand out from the crowd of other hatchbacks. On the inside, again Maruti claims the interiors are far more premium. For example, it gets premium black upholstery with Stingray themed seats, leather wrapped steering wheels with audio control and a blue themed instrumentation cluster. This instrumentation cluster also gets a drive information display for the Stingray. The Stingray will continue to come in the same engine options as the normal Wagon R, which is a 1.0 KB10 series petrol engine known for its refinement and fuel economy. Of course, pricing can play a key feature because the normal Wagon R comes with a host of discounts. However, the Stingray will not come with any discount, and this could make the difference between the Stingray and the normal Wagon R to be 40 to 50,000 rupees. The Vagana Stingray went on sale across India from 21st of August onwards at prices starting just over 4 lakh rupees extra room daily for the base LXI version. Of course, the Stingray will be available in 3 trim levels of LXI, VXI and VXI optional. The top end version will get the buyers a standard ABS, a driver side airbag, leather wrap steering wheels and of course audio controls on the steering wheel.